Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite products for the month of June. I know I failed to film favorites video for the past couple of months, but please make sure to turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss any new videos because soon I'm going to have a summer favorites video and um, it's gonna be a little bit longer and I'm gonna show you really amazing products that I found recently. So let's go ahead and get started with my June favorites. So for the month of June, one of my favorite products and the one that I recently discovered is by Guerlain and this is their new pearl dust palette. Now this palette was sold out so many times. I've been using it so much. It contains three highlighters and if you are interested in this palette make sure to check out my blog angelavanrose.com and you're gonna see a full review and swatches and photos of this palette. You can use it on your face and on your eyes and this is something that I really appreciate and the highlighters are infused with um, I think it was Japanese pearl, which is supposed to have some skincare benefits. Of course, I don't believe in the skincare benefits because this is a highlighter, but it's a really beautiful product that has very fine um, and very sophisticated sheen. Um, it doesn't have like a, that really chunky glitter and I have this palette on my eyes today and on my face. You can see that it gives me a very beautiful glow. So let me go ahead and give you some swatches. And once again, you can see all the swatches on my blog. And also I have a newsletter on my blog, so make sure to subscribe to my newsletter so that you don't miss any beauty news or any giveaways that I might do only for the people who are in my newsletter. Next, I have a new face serum that I've been using for the past month and a half, and I really like it. It's by Caudalie, and this is their Vino Perfect serum. This is for pigmentation and it contains the signature ingredient for Caudalie that is grape seed extract and I find that this serum is actually very hydrating, very moisturizing and I don't need any other moisturizers, I don't need any additional moisturizers, I have normal to combination skin and I find this serum is really good. I, I like it. I don't know how this is going to work on pigmentation. If you're using the serum for pigmentation make sure to give it some time and keep in mind that also one skin cycle is approximately six weeks. So if you're testing a new product, you can't really tell the difference unless you're using it for more than six weeks. So I've been using this approximately for six weeks. I don't see much of a difference to be honest because I don't have, um, I don't have major pigmentation, but I had some issues with some spots around here. And I must say that it worked really nice because it, my spots didn't leave any scars. Um, I rarely have spots, but I had spots over the past month. I don't know why. Um, my skin was misbehaving and this serum really helped because usually when I have spots, they leave a little scar. So I think that this serum might work actually and I really like it. Next, I'm moving on to a Shantikai product and this is from their new summer collection, Vibrant Ocean. I have a full review on my YouTube channel and on my blog also in case you're interested. Links are going to be in the description box. I really like this um, compact because it contains a highlighter and a blush and the blush I, I I am in love with this beautiful pink color really really love it and I'm using mainly this blusher this summer and I really like it now, for a lot of people there was a little issue with these palettes there is one pink and one coral and the issue is actually this and this is actually the issue that the highlighter can be easily dislocated. Now, this is not an issue for me because the palette is just as beautiful. And in that connection, I just wanted to say I was very impressed how Shantikai handled all this. I showed a photo of this on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I post on a daily basis there. Uh, and I showed a photo of this dislocated highlighter because I just wanted to let you guys know because I know that for some people this might be a big deal and I was really impressed how Shantikai handled this. They immediately contacted me and they asked me to replace um, the palette with a new one. Of course I refused because I don't find this to be um, any kind of issue for me because I'm not very careful with my makeup anyways but this happened to a lot of people and they handled the situation really nice and in that connection I wanted to say a big shout out to one of their makeup artists it was Ramiro Serom who contacted me and and um, he was really nice very very nice and he offered to send me a new palette 
once again I refused but he was so nice so kind I think that he's such an exceptional person okay moving on to the next product the next product that I'm going to show you is I've been obsessed with this product this has been it makes my day when I see it and you can imagine it's from House of Siash and this is their lipstick case Whispers of Truth um, which is the latest addition to my collection. You know guys I collect these lipstick cases and this is the most beautiful probably this is the most beautiful lipstick case that I own. It's so gorgeous. Just take a look at that uh, and unfortunately the camera doesn't do justice here. It's not going to show how beautiful this lipstick case is and in this lipstick case I have one of the lipsticks from their new summer collection. I have a full review of the summer collection lipsticks from the house of Siash. Definitely go ahead and check out this video because they have amazing summer collection this is the best lipstick formulation ever and the lipstick that I have here right now is the Royal and this is the lipstick that I'm currently wearing I'm gonna swatch it for you so that you can see how it looks so this is the Royal and I'm absolutely obsessed with their summer lipstick collection and I'm I'm so obsessed with this beautiful lipstick case um, it is like the diamond of my whole collection you know I collect House of Siash bow lipstick cases but this one is is my favorite definitely this one is my favorite it's now my number one and I'm really taking very very good care of it because I I love it so much it's amazing so a huge thank you to House of Siash for sending me this it it makes me so happy every single day and also I have two more colors that I've been wearing non-stop from the house of Siage. so the two other colors are the crown which is like this beautiful coral pinkish color I'm gonna swatch it here so this is the crown and it's so beautiful this color gets me so many compliments and it's a very easy to wear color I think that is one of the must have uh, shades. So if you want to see more close-up swatches and better swatches in natural light make sure to check out my video and don't miss this summer lipstick collection because it's absolutely amazing and the next shade that I've been wearing all the time is Monarch and this is like a beautiful kind of a fuchsia color let me swatch it right here and this is Monarch so let me go ahead and show you so this is Monarch the crown and the royal three amazing colors this are must-have colors for summer 2020 I have been wearing these non-stop and I want to have a lifetime supply of these colors so excellent job from House of Siash by the way House of Siash are going very strong since the beginning of this year they have been releasing some amazing makeup collections really changing the world of luxury beauty in terms of quality their products are just the best and it's not exaggerated to say that their products are absolutely the best and I have one fragrance that I have fallen in love with and this is one of the most unique fragrances in my whole fragrance collection again it's by House of Siage but I just wanted to show you all of my favorites from House of Siage um, together and the fragrance of the fragrances is whispers of truth it's probably the most beautiful one of the most beautiful bottles from house of siage but the fragrance that comes inside is even more beautiful keep an eye on my youtube channel i'm gonna have a full review of this fragrance of course i'm gonna have a full review of this fragrance it's it's such a favorite i've been wearing it non-stop and i've been very very spoiled so a huge huge thank you to house of siage for for taking such good care of me i am literally feel so spoiled and this is one of the fragrances that i cherish so much like it's amazing it is truly unique fragrance you know that we all when you smell a fragrance usually you can think of something or usually every fragrance usually triggers a certain memory or triggers something in you and this fragrance immediately after i smelled this fragrance it it speaks to me Saint-Tropez which is my favorite summer destination it's one of the most magical places on the French Riviera and this fragrance just speaks to me and screams Saint-Tropez top notes are bergamot and grapefruit and you're going to feel these top notes and that fresh citrus opening all the way um, in the fragrance and also immediately after spraying the fragrance I can feel a touch of caramel which is actually in the base notes of the fragrance but somehow the composition of this fragrance is, is made in such a unique way that immediately after spraying the fragrance I can feel the first three notes that I feel are bergamot, 
grapefruit and a touch of caramel and this makes this fragrance so unique and that's why I immediately think of Saint-Tropez because it's such... Can I say that this fragrance somehow smells unique and expensive, like unique, as unique as Saint-Tropez? And the heart notes are rose and jasmine. And you can feel the rose and the jasmine very, very lightly, but I would say that this also can be a very, very good unisex fragrance because it's so unique, so beautiful. And let me spray this. Let me make myself feel a little bit better. I'm wearing this today, but still I wanted to feel this. And at the time when I'm filming this video, this fragrance is 25% off on House of Siash website. So check out the link in the description box or just go to House of Siash website and take advantage of this. I think that you're not going to feel sorry if you purchase this fragrance. This is one of the most unique fragrances in my whole fragrance collection. So, so, so beautiful. And I can't thank enough to House of Siash for sending this fragrance. They know me so well, they know what I like and this is my favorite fragrance. Next, I have a product that I recently showed you in one of my videos and this is the new Givenchy powder. It's not a new powder, but it's a new color from this powder and this is in Satin Blanc. As you probably know, Mousseline Pastel number one is my favorite powder and my most repurchased powder from Givenchy. Now I've been testing this one and I don't like it as much as Mousseline Pastel. It's again very suitable for my skin tone but I have oily skin and Mousseline Pastel is completely matte and this one, it has four colors, um, but one of the colors uh, has the tiniest little shimmers. So I suppose it's going to be great for people who have more dry skin. And for those of you who have more oily skin, Mousseline Pastel is probably going to be the better option. Now I like it, however, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing again the Mousseline Pastel, not the Satin Blanc. And I'm going to have a full review of this powder, so keep an eye on my YouTube channel, full review is coming soon, and I'm going to compare this to Mousseline Pastel. Moving on to the next product, and I have two products that are somehow fails. Uh, not really fails, but really fails for me, and I'm going to explain now. Now, one of the products is um, the By Terry CC Serum, and this is in White Rose. I think this is the color. I'm going to have it in the description box below, but this came in the Summer Essential Kit that I showed you in one of my previous videos. Now, I was thinking that this, it has that kind of a bronzy color, and I was thinking that it's going to be the same product or a very similar product to the Chantecaille Gel Bronzer, but it's not the same product. So this works as the most beautiful bronzer for my pale skin tone. I can customize the color. I think it's going to be suitable for absolutely all skin tones. And it's one of the most beautiful bronzers ever. Like you can use it instead of foundation. If you have more deeper skin tone, you can use it instead of foundation just to warm up your skin a little bit. And it looks absolutely flawless. It looks so beautiful. I highly encourage you to get this one, no matter what, skin type you have, what skin tone you have, it works really beautiful even on my pale skin tone. Of course you have to be light-handed and you have to use very little because it's quite dark. However, this product I thought it's going to be similar but it's not. So the color is definitely not right for me. It makes me look like dirty. It sets very quickly into the skin. I don't like the finish. I don't like how it looks on my skin. So I should probably test the paler colors. But this one, let me show you actually as well. This one, it's a complete disaster for me. You can see how it looks. So I'm sure that probably this is just not the right shade for me and probably if I get one of the pale shades it's going to work really nice for me but for me this product was a complete fail. I can't use it as a bronzer. It doesn't work as a bronzer. It sets very quickly into the skin and I wanted to use this product just like the Chantecai bronzer. I just wanted to use it applied here and there a little bit on the nose and just to give me that kind of a warm sun-kissed look but it doesn't happen. It looks really really bad on me so probably I should try one of the paler shades. Let me know what you think of the By Terry CC Serum because I believe that it's probably going to be a good product if I have the right shade but this one doesn't work as a bronzer, definitely doesn't work as a bronzer. It looks 
really bad on me. I have another fail and this is a skincare product from La Roche-Posay and this is their Hyaluronic Serum B5. It didn't work for me, I don't know why. Usually their products always work for me, usually they have amazing skincare. This product just didn't work for me. I, this is one of the very overhyped products and a lot of dermatologists uh, recommend this product even though it contains alcohol. Alcohol usually doesn't bother my skin because I have normal to combination skin and usually La Roche-Posay have very good and very successful formulations of their products. However, this was a fail for me. I don't want to use it. I. It's not that it irritated my skin. It, it was actually not a bad product, but I don't want to use it. It's not the kind of product that I will use using it. I don't like it. Next, I have a very old favorite and this is a favorite every summer. And this is the Le Beige Tinted Moisturizer, um, which has SPF 30. And I think this is a great product for the summer because it has SPF 30, it doesn't emphasize pores. It, it's a very pleasant and very good product and you can apply enough to really get some, some protection. Still, don't use this alone. Use a dedicated SPF under this product. But it's a great product to use on top of your SPF because it's going to give you that additional protection that we all need. Um, however, keep in mind that this is a tinted moisturizer. So if you have oily skin, you just have to see how to use it. Sometimes for some people, this might be enough as a tinted moisturizer and you might need to skip your skincare or to use only a very lightweight serum. So depending on your skin condition, this is a tinted moisturizer. And if you have normal to combination skin like me, if you apply your regular skincare routine, this is gonna be way too shiny and way too glossy. And I did this mistake. You just have to see how this is going to work for your skin and you just have to adjust your skincare routine when you're using this product. For example, most of the time when I'm using this product, I would use only a tiny bit of serum, otherwise it's gonna look too oily on my skin, but it's a very good product. Next, moving on to another skincare product that I found recently and I've been enjoying a lot, and this is by Sarah Chapman. So this is the Ultimate Cleanse Cleansing Balm by Sarah Chapman, and I've been enjoying this product because Every time when I use it, I feel like my skin is very smooth after that and I feel like it makes a difference. Probably I like this one even better than my all-time favorite Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I think that I prefer this one and I think that I prefer this one also over the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm. So it's a really good product and it takes off all the makeup and it leaves the skin very smooth and very soft. However, it is quite pricey. I'm still not sure if it's worth the splurge or not. It's a very, very good product, but I'm not sure if it's going to make a huge difference because still this is not, this is a product that you're going to clean immediately. So it depends on your budget. If you have the budget, this is a gorgeous cleansing balm, but you have to use a dedicated cleanser for your eyes because this is only suitable for the face. It's not suitable to remove eye makeup. Okay, I have one last product from the House of Siash and this is a product that I recently uh, received. Nearly a week ago I received this product and I'm in love with this product. I love facial mists and this facial mist is part of their Summer Private Beach Club collection, which I love the whole collection. I have a full review on my blog, so make sure to check out the collection and you have to see the ingredient list of the products in this collection. You can see the full ingredient list of all of the products from this collection on my blog. I'm going to have a link in the description box, but this facial mist is a must have and it's become part of my morning and evening skincare routine. I just love it. And it's packed with so many beneficial ingredients. The main reason why I love it is because of the ingredient list. It contains niacinamide, it contains vitamin A, it contains vitamin C and it contains a lot of botanical extracts. It contains 90, 98% natural ingredients, if I'm not mistaken, but the whole line contains only natural ingredients and it doesn't contain alcohol, it doesn't contain any irritating products. It also contains tea tree oil, which is amazing for people who have acne prone skin and it works really nice on the skin. It contains so many beneficial ingredients 
And I couldn't recommend this facial mist enough. It is so good. I like to use it as a first step in my skincare routine because it just smells so amazing. And I like to spray it right after cleansing my skin. I like to spray it on my skin and just let it for a couple of minutes just to enjoy the scent of this product because what is unique about this whole collection, their beach collection, is that the products are feel very luxurious, but at the same time they contain natural ingredients. So I don't know how they did this collection, but it's absolutely amazing. And this is one of my favorite products. And I think this one is a must have. Okay, I think that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss any new videos. Take care, bye.